Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are diving into Unreal Engine to create a beautiful environment. I'll walk you through it setup by setup. So stick around till the end. Let's get started. So first we gonna create a new project, now in the game section, select the third person template without any starter content and give the location, whatever you like and give the project a name like I'm gonna name it tutorial and click on create. Now it will take some time, so finally our project has been opened. Now first uh, what we gonna do click on file create a new level now we're gonna create a new level now I'm gonna go with the basic one click on create here's the basic level so first what we're gonna do is delete this uh, plane and also save the map obviously like underscore I'm gonna name this underscore main and click on save so now we're gonna create a landscape click on here we click on landscape and we don't need to change anything here just click on create now our landscape has been created so now what I'm gonna do is go to selection mode and I'm gonna import the asset for the reference from Quixel Bridge now the asset will be uh, uh, this one huge nordic coastal cliff now you have to download this and click on import now for the reference i'm gonna use this asset now let's take this cliff uh, like click on mega skin and click on static mesh here is our cliff now drag and drop and rotate it something like 90 and click on the cliff and hold alt for duplicate objects now rotate it uh, 180 degrees something like that okay for now that looks good enough so now let's start sculpting according to the reference now what I'm gonna do go to landscape mode and decrease the brush size something like that and, and tool strength obviously decrease it and also increase uh, fall off now let's just sculpt it you need to hold the shift to sculpt it down Now we gonna add the water. Now for the water go to add in plugins and type your water. Enable both of those and restart the engine. And also save everything. So now close everything. Uh, let's open the map that we created. Here is our ma main level. If you go here on plus icon and type here water. Now you're gonna see all the water bodies. Now we're gonna choose the lake water body lake. Okay. 
So just drag and drop here. Now it's gonna compile and return it. Now here is our lake. Now what I'm gonna do is go on to details and untick this effect landscape. Okay. Now this is not gonna affect uh, the landscape anymore. Let's just now scale those like this. Uh, let's add now. Let's add a spline point right here and uh, extend it a little bit and also right here. Extend it and that's look perfect. But also add here and. Uh, like this. Okay. And that that looks perfect. Now then let them compile those. Now if you want to change the color of the water, you can change by clicking on water body leak and navigate to the rendering track. Rendering right here. Now you can see water material here. I double click on it to open it now here if you want to like uh, navigate to the end and now you can see the absorption now if you change this you can change the whole color of the water like this now I'm gonna undo this okay click ok and yes now that's working. Now if you want to create a water like this. So just enable the scattering. Now if you want to change the depth of the waves. You can also change that by clicking on water. And, and navigate to the wave right here. And increase the depth obviously. And that looks perfect. Now let's just uh, hit save. I will to save, save on. You can save by clicking on air and also control S. So now what we're gonna do is gonna import all the assets that I used in this environment. And those are the basic assets that I'm using. Like this one, let's import it. Minimize this, and also this one. Also, the big assets like uh, this one, and also the ground. We can uh, read the name here and click one here. Now, let's just drag, and also those are the great words like this. I'm gonna import all of them. like this also this one this one yeah. this one also this one and this one now those are the important assets you can download by reading the name here like this all the Nordic coastal glyph obviously and huge Nord Nordic coastal glyph you can download all of these assets for free, obviously. Let's import those. So right now, what I'm gonna do is take all the assets, like click on Mega Skin and click on Static Mesh. Here you can see all the assets here. Now what I'm gonna do, place all the assets in the random places, obviously. Now you don't need to copy everything from me, like. That's a completely artistic choice. You can do whatever you like. You can place any asserts anywhere, wherever you like, obviously. So now let's just um, click on Mega Skin and click on Static Mesh. Here are the some asserts that I'm using. So let's just drag and drop. And obviously, this process will be the most boring process, obviously, for you guys. So I'm gonna just fast forward this. Take care.
now before adding foliage to our scene we're gonna apply our landscape material so first import the landscape material from quinzel bridge let's just go to quinzel bridge go to local i have already downloaded the material so if you don't have the material you need to download it first i am using this uh, material right here rocky ground this one you can download also this material from quicksilver bridge i'm gonna add this from right here and go to main open the asset browser go to mega skin click on surface rocky ground this one right here material instance click on it click on landscape and we'll go right here in the landscape landscape material click on it and click on here now as you can see the tiling is really repeating so we have to change this so double click on it open the properties and here you can see tiling offset let's just click sorry expand it and now we can change that tiling thing from here 0 0.5 or fine let's see how it looks fine or the gun yeah that that looks great i think a little bit we don't need to see that area okay we're gonna just see in those areas like in the water and right here so don't worry about the rest of the area we just need to see that so just change the tiling like uh, point two is i think great let's just type point two and same yeah that looks good it it is blending very good with those rocks so now what we're gonna do now we're gonna add foliage to our scene first close this now open the quizzle bridge you, you you can open the quizzle bridge from here okay so just open the quizzle bridge i have already downloaded the foliage now this is the foliage that i have downloaded you can see you can also download those you can read the names from here this is in the important one foliage that we're gonna use so let's just import those hand to engine click on first import this i'm gonna import this one and uh, let's just import all of those also this one okay now what we're gonna do in here 3d plots navigate to the 3d plots and click on static mesh now this is our foliage now what are we gonna do first we yes this one here are showing up we gonna paint this uh, foliage to all of this rocks over here in so let's just go into foliage mode now in here select those uh, yellow these are so in here you're going to select these ones now if you don't see in those uh, here you just need to select all of these and drag and drop right here if you don't see the foliage here now just i'm going to select all of these from right here to here click on now what we can do check the density you can see the size is really small let's just increase the size scale from like let's say 6 to 7 now that's really important for your performance if your foliar size is small and you are pending on it 
on the roof so the foliage number will gonna be so high so that's really gonna decrease your performance so make sure foliage size is good i think uh, that is good just seven eight let's just now decrease the density okay and also from here just decrease the pen density now let's just start uh, adding the foliage to our rocks just start painting it like this now if you think the foliage is uh, i think i'm going to what i'm going to just paint on top of this box like that you can also decrease the density if you want i think that looks perfect now this uh, you can see uh, just copy this one this space looks empty shall i just fill that up like that yeah now it looks to let's go to foliage again start painting on those I'll just decrease the size of the brush. Uh, so, and right here, here, and also here. I'm going to raise this one. I think that looks awesome. Now I'm going to what I'm going to do is uh, decrease I'm going to decrease the density. Let's say 50. Uh check it try. No. 30 still is too much 20 is great i think yeah that's perfect now we can paint right here now some of the plants you need to paint just decrease the paint density you can paint some of these right here also just increase the paint density then and also then decrease I think that looks great Just uh, what I'm gonna do is raise those because size is I think the size of the foliage is too big. Now let's just change the size like four to five. Now start painting. The number is too much. Let's just decrease it at fifteen. Yeah, that's perfect. You can also do it underwater. It doesn't matter or uh, make any logic. Whatever you like, you can do that. Now, 
now we need to animate this foliage because right now you can see this is this looks uh, static completely static no end or anything the far not to animate the foliage what we gonna do is go in selection mode and open this material the first one material stairs and type the wind right here and what you're gonna do is enable grass wind right here and you click on this also now you can change the intensity of the wind one that's too much i think 0.5 i think will gonna be well. no that's still too much point two Point one. I think point one. I think point. Yeah, point one is great. You can do whatever you like. I'm gonna go with point one. Button. Now let's say other foliage, like go to foliage. Uh, now I'm gonna deselect those and select this C increase the size like uh, 5 to 6 there's I think that's too much size let's just uh, 3 to 4 or let's just decrease the uh, LST also. Yeah, that looks great. Just make sure you need to paint those under water, like uh, then increase the precise. I care. Now what we're gonna do is gonna add the grass. So let's just first deselect this. Now let's just select on the grass. Here. Okay. Just increase the size a little bit. Like uh, 1.5 to let's say 2.5 I think that's too much 1 is great 1.5 yeah that's good now let's just uh, the intensity I think is good just increase the intensity paint intensity little bit that's you great I think Let's start pain right here. Now we can also animate the grass. Okay. Now let's just deselect the grass right now and select those plants. So Okay, the size is too small. Let's just go and type 4, 5. Yeah, th that looks perfect. Let's just uh, intensity. I think just increase a little bit paint intensity. Yeah, that, that looks good. Again, recheck the size. 
I think the size is little bit too much. Let's just raise. You can raise those by holding shift. Just change the scale. Three to four. Also, I think the intensity can intensity is too much. Let's just I'm gonna erase this again, and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is decrease the intensity. Then I'm gonna end this. Spent it randomly. Yeah. Keep an hour. It looks, I think, great. Yeah, that looks perfect. Now, the foliage, I think, has been. Now, underwater, you can also do that in underwater. And uh, let's just choose the deselect those one and select these and paint it right here, like that. And you can also do that by here. Now, now we no, we are not gonna see that like from up here. If you want to make a shot like this, then you can add also add the foliage and rocks and everything underwater. If you don't want to like uh, make a shot from underwater or something like from top, then you don't need to paint a foliage and then put rocks under the water because it, because it is just gonna decrease your performance so let's just now see for now that looks perfect let's just now change the lightning and add some atmosphere and everything so first what I'm gonna do is add go to visual effects and post process menu now, in the detail panel of the post process volume, type infinite. Just tick this for the infinite extent unbound. Now, I'm gonna increase the saturation a little bit. First, let's just final the lightning of our scene. Right here. Now, if you want to change the exposure, you can also change the exposure of this scene. Let's say um, I, I'm gonna change the exposure. Let's go to, let's just search exposure. And click on here, go to manual. Also click on here, let's type seven, eight, thing, nine, I think looks great. According to me, so let's just select the directional light and increase the intensity of it. Uh, this one. Let's just type 15. Maybe 20. twenty size. And also 30 maybe. Let's just experiment with it. Yeah, 30, 30 I think looks great. According to me, 30 looks good. Now let's go to exposure again. Sorry, post process volume again. Post process. Now what we're gonna do is, also we're gonna add blue. Here is our sun. We're gonna change this to convolution. Yeah, that looks great. You can also change the intensity from here. Now, we have to add a saturation little bit. Let's just go to... We can also add vignette if you want. Little bit. Also sharpen.
intact. Now let's go to yeah, color grading. Global click on saturation. Let's just increase the saturation 1.2. Now that will be perfect. You can also increase it like 1.4 or 1.6 to make it really saturated. But uh, I'm gonna go with like 1.3 uh, I think is perfect. Yes. That looks great. Now let's just uh, give it right here. You don't need to change anything now. So and also you can experiment with it also with the reflection. But uh, I'm gonna go with the lumen. Now what we need to do. You can also add motion blur if you want. Let's just add point two. And the frame will be twenty-four also. Okay for now that's good. And later we're gonna change some settings from here. Now let's just go to exponential height for now. Let's just uh, Also, I'll change the color. Uh, little bit greenish. You can also change those from seeing here, yeah, but for now, let's just leave it right there. Now, what I'm gonna do is gonna add the distant mountains like background. Okay, one thing that I forgot to mention. You have to animate this foliage right here, the grass, the lettuce, and also the seaweed. So let's just animate it first. Go to planet, here, and also type. Well, neighbor grass wind, also here, and type one wind intensity, sorry, point one. And see the intensity of the wind. Yeah. That looks perfect. Now change. Let's add the wind to our grass. Where is grass? This one. Enable. Also add the wind intensity. Quite well. Now, for now, let's just add the background mountains and everything. So for that, just save the scene and open the Epic Game Launcher. Now in the Epic Game Library, go to the marketplace and search background. Like, sorry, background. You press enter. And click on the free filter right here. Now you can see those landscape backgrounds. This is for free, obviously. You can download those and add to your project. Now I'm gonna add those to our project like this tutorial one. And select the version. Now after adding those to our project. Now let's just uh, close the epic game. Open our Unreal Engine. Open our scene now. Now what we can do is. Here is our photo rear backgrounds. Click on static mesh and choose the mesh whatever you like. I'm gonna go with those in green. If you want to increase the thumbnail size, you can do that from here. I'm gonna go with large. Now it depends on you what kind of background mountains you need. And this one. Mountains. Yeah, that's the one. Now again, find the mountains like that and add those in the background. Now what we're gonna do, 
is if you c come here in the photo real backgrounds and select on static mesh you can see the card uh, of the tree mesh if you double click to open it you can see that this is the tree mesh card now what we can do with that is just go to foliage if there is selected of foliage then deselect those like that deselect those now add this one now it depends on your scene I, I'm gonna add this one uh, green if you want to add the slow one you can add also this drag and drop select this one let's, let's check the size and just to change the scale like 0.4 to 0.7 yeah that looks great also change that density to like 20 yeah that's perfect now I add the trees right here like this Now let's just uh, now go to selection mode, click on exponential height fog and if you want to change the fog, you can also change it like that like this that looks perfect to me so now I'm gonna add some fish and birds to our scene but for that you need to download two packs from the marketplace which are completely free obviously now let's just go to epic game launcher now in the marketplace search vfx pack and now click on free and you can see that the vfx starter pack right here volume 2 click on here and also add this to our project so after adding that to our project now what we can do now just click on here is our realistic starter VFX pack. Click on here. Go to particles. We're gonna go in the environments. This one is butterfly. You can also add butterflies. If you want, I mean. Here it is. Like that. You can see. That looks perfect, I think. Now, I want to add the fish like in the water like this you can see those fish that look so good now what we're gonna do you can also add another fish pack like this VFX particle that looks great to get that now what we can learn to go to Epic Game Launcher and type animal. Now the birds in the marketplace are not that great I think according to me. Just type free. Uh, this one. Animal variety pack this one. You can see there is some birds like crows. Like those ones. Now before adding birds to our scene, what we are going to do is just going to add lever sequence to our scene. Just go right here, click on add level sequencer and just save this like uh, in the new folder maybe. Level is underscore Q S. Open it, save this level sequencer. Now also add the Cine Camera Actor like Cine Sorry Cine Camera Like this one This is our camera Then I'm gonna go all right here And this snap the camera to Snap object to you Okay Now this is gonna snap the Camera to you Let's change the frame rate from 
3224 and also do some settings right here change this digital film to 16-9 DSLR now let's just animate the camera by clicking here and just drag and drop the camera in the scene and add the transform keyframe and go to the end of the timer and also add the keyframe here now just select both of these keyframes and right click and make it linear right here now you can see that that looks perfect you can also buy the birds packs from marketplace for the better results for now we just gonna use this one now let's just open our sequencer if you come here on our level sequencer level sequencer with this one let's just add the growth and animation like flying obviously grow fly and make just increase the length of the animation like that now let's just animate the crow right this just click on transfer add the keyframe right here go right here then drag this here and add keyframe change the interpolation mode to linear now you can see that how bird is when if you want to add more you can also do that duplicate by duplicating it now we just gonna start with this now if you want to change the lightning you can also change the lightning by con holding control l and also change the direction light you can also Now, that looks perfect for me I think if you want to change it you can also change in an experiment with it lightning and also the environment and anything you want to change you can do then it's completely artistic choice obviously now it's time to render the scene now, for the rendering we're gonna use the movie render queue so before editing it what we gonna do we need to enable the plugin sorry enable the plugin uh, from here close this type movie render cube movie render king that's one enable it and restart the engine save everything also close the epic game launcher now after enabling the plugin in the movie render queue go to our main map this one right here let's just open the sequencer and go to camera now now click on this icon here render icon here for the rendering so first of all click on here unsaved config now here is everything for the movie render queue that we need to change first select the output directory i'm gonna choose the desktop now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna delete this jpeg now i'm gonna choose this PAG sequence if you want to choose the exr sequence you can also but i'm gonna go with png sequence and click on png and also what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add this anti-aliasing and let's just change the temporal sample count to something like 64 or maybe you can also choose 32 I'm gonna go with 64 and click on override anti-aliasing right here now also choose this uh, super res high resolution also I'm gonna add some console variables like that like something r dot motion blood 
as quality something like two also r dot something like that depth of field quality right here we can also change that now there are some more variables you can also add i'm going to provide you in the description so you can copy and paste just from here so those are the settings that we need to do you can also select those frame right here 24 frames and everything is perfect just one more thing need to do is go to anti-aliasing and in advance put 120 warm-up and engine warm-up frame right here now you are ready to go you can just hit accept and render local so that's it for today's video if you found it helpful consider hitting subscribe and sharing my channel right now your support means the world to me especially as i'm currently working hard to get monetized on youtube every subscription and share counts thank you for being a part of this journey until the next time happy creating